But Pakistan's new army chief, meanwhile, has made his intentions quite clear. He'll sponsor terror and continue to deny his army's role. Badwa called up Afghanistan's President Ashraf Ghani on Sunday to express solidarity in Kabul's fight against terror and to condole the loss of lives in terror attacks. He also made a stunning claim, and I quote, Pakistan has come a long way in its fight against terrorism of all hues and colors and has eliminated all safe havens in the process. Remember, Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani has been very critical of Pakistan recently. Geeta Mohan, Foreign Affairs Editor, is joining us with further details. Geeta, Pakistan Army Chief claiming that safe havens have been eliminated, only going to show that once again, Pak is dealing with terrorism partially only on the Western Front that affects them and not on the Eastern border. Uh, Pakistani army chief coming out and saying that there are no safe havens uh, really is not uh, something that uh, uh, con can convince any in the international community given that not just uh, stakeholders in the region such as Afghanistan and India but also countries such as the United States of America that has been a stakeholder in Afghanistan has come out and said uh, on the record that Pakistan should ensure that, the sa that it does not provide safe havens to terrors, terrorists and terror organizations and that continue continues to be the stand of most of the countries uh, that are either uh, a part of the coalition forces in Afghanistan or are working in development projects in Afghanistan. As, hence, while the Pakistani army chief would want the world to believe that they are not involved in, in using terrorism as an instrument of state policy, uh, it is going to be a hard argument for them to convince anyone, given that there is enough proof and evidence uh, against Pakistan in abetting terrorism and using terrorism as an instrument of state policy.